Hey girls, it's Ambrosia here and I'm finally getting around to giving you guys more information on the Indie Care that I've been wearing for the past month. Um, first off, I've gotten so many questions on it. Biggest question that I've gotten was how I blend my natural hair with the Indie Care. Um, well, let me start off with the texture of the Indie Care. I did choose hair from the Pure Curls collection, so it's actually curly and I straightened my own hair, my natural hair, so it's straight but what I do to blend it is Bantu not my hair um, and it just blends perfectly. Um, also it helps that my hair is a really good match as far as color wise. Um, that's another big thing. You want to really make sure your weave matches your natural hair if you're going to have leave out. Um, Indie Care does offer closures however I'm not using one. Um, I have leave out all around. Um, so yeah my hair matches it perfectly and um, you know the texture is just really nice. Uh, I have been using Mrs. Jessie's to style my Indie Care and I have the tubes right here behind me. These are the two products that I've actually been using and it's the Quick Curls. I've used this the most and I just recently started using the Multicultural cultural Curls and um, I really like these. I mostly like the smell of it. I really like this one though. Um, it just seems to offer a little bit more oomph. Uh, this one just seems a little bit more easy going, um, but it does give you like that really, I don't know, it's easy going, but it gives you like that, that snappy curl when this one just seems like it's a little bit more of a relaxed curl. Going back into my installation method, uh, I had a stylist go ahead and install it. So this is a sew-in. I cannot remove it at night. Um, and previously, there was something that I liked about the thought of being able to just take it off if I wanted to. But this time around, I was just like, no, I don't want to deal with the whole wig thing, um, taking it off. And I just want something a little bit more permanent, like something more of like that I woke up like this type look. So, you know, I can just wake up like this and just be like sleeping beauty. But uh, <laughs> I have 18 inches up at the top, which you can tell it's shorter. Um, it blends with my hair more. The stylist also blended it um, and kind of just trimmed around a little bit to make it frame my face better so it's like more custom to me. Um, and also on the bottom is a 20 inch, but the way that things work with Indie Care, and I know a lot of other brands are doing this as well, is when you, when you select a particular inch they give you an extra like two inches or so um, so you know you're getting more bang for your bucks so this is how long it is and um, I'm really loving it I'm really loving it it's really light I actually received two tubes of the Indie Care um, which looked like oh my god I don't know if this is gonna be enough but I had some hair left over which was excellent um, so you know I'm gonna just save this when I do take it out and um have it reinstalled in the future. Um, some really great hair. It's really great. It's nice and light. It's not too heavy. Um, it's very airy. Uh, the way that my hair is installed is, you know, the braids and sewn in right here. But I have the leave out all around so I can put it in a high bun, a high ponytail, low ponytail. I can do pretty much whatever I want to do to it and, you know, without having that track show. So the versatility is still there. I know that's one reason why a lot of us has gone natural because you know we like that versatility we like to be able to have it kinky and then have it straightened and snap right back to the kinky but um you know this offers good versatility too so you're not just stuck wearing your hair down you know what I mean we're gonna go ahead and jump into the demo with me using Mrs. Jessie's because I know a lot of you guys have been curious as to how I you know how I get the hair to snap like this and do all that stuff because I've been posting these Instagram pictures so here is a demo of me using the Quick Curls, which is the one that I was going cuckoo for cocoa for. So check that out and we'll be right back. When I sleep on it, I just bond it up and my actual hair is Bantu knotted. Um, and you know, me Bantu knotting my actual hair helps keep it out of the way. So I'm not actually wetting my own hair. I am taking a spray bottle and um, using the Mrs. Jessie's Quick Curls, it does require for the hair to be damp. So I am going to damp the hair, mostly focusing on the ends of the hair, 
So that's where we really want the definition to be. Rotate it. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the quick curls. It's actually better if you work this in uh, through sections. So take some through my hair. Once we've got it all applied, that's when we'll go ahead and scrunch. But right now I'm just coating it through, making sure it's coating each strand. Okay, now I'm gonna scrunch a bit. You see the curls forming? They're so pretty. Now, if you have an attachment like this on your blow dryer, you can go ahead and ditch it because what we're going to do is just focus this. I normally only use this if I'm like stretching at the root or something, which is rare, or you know, I'm really trying to target a specific area to stretch. But in this case, we're going to use that full barrel and we're going to go ahead and take it at a cool setting on a high speed. Taking my Bantu nut out, out of the back, and I'm just gonna blend it with the hair. It blends pretty well. Alright girls, this is the finished look using Mrs. Jessie's style on Indie Care. I sure hope you girls enjoyed that demo. I know I have fun doing it because it's so fun styling this and just watching the curls come into play. It's it's so fun. I can't I can't keep my hands out of it when I'm and I just love like the scrunch and then eventually just gradually gets bigger and bigger. See today I used the multicultural curls. I applied it the same exact way. You guys know I used to blow dry on a cool setting and all of that good stuff. So everything's done the exact same way. Um, but you know you get slightly different results. So I just see I just see slightly different results here. And um, even the way it feels, I feel like this one is a little bit more moisturizing. This one doesn't make your hair dry or, or crunchy or anything, but I feel a little bit more moisture on my hands when I, when I scrunch it. If you do live in Arizona, anywhere in Arizona, and you're curious on my hair and the stylist who did my hair, go ahead and convo me via email. I didn't want to just put the stylist number out in the public. I, you know, I want to do it on an individual basis. So if you are curious about the stylist, I've already had several of you contact me um, to get her information. She does a really great job, and it she does not only do weaves, she does more. So you can contact her at your own convenience. I want to know what's your go-to summer style. Do you like to weave it up? Do you like to braid it up? Do you like to twist it up? Let me know guys. Um, let's have a chit chat in the combo section down below in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up this video. Make sure you comment. Subscribe if you have not done so.